Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney. I'm here today partnering with Figma to show you two ways to protect your Fig Jams. Locking and unlocking and version history. So the first we'll say, we want students to collaborate in this Fig Jam, but we don't want them to move images around or delete images. Well, the first thing we can do to protect our fig jams and still let collaborators edit them is to lock unlock. So let me click on this and then I'll right click and we do lock. And so now if I'm a collaborator and I go to this and I wanna do something to it, I can't do anything. I can't delete it, I can't move it until I hit this unlock button. So if nothing else that slows me down, prevents me from moving it and it makes me make a decision, hey, do I wanna lock unlock? Let me just unlock that and check out what else you can do you can select multiple items, right click, lock, unlock. And now I can't do much of anything to any of this stuff. I can't edit it, I can't delete it, and it is protected. Of course, I can still click this unlock button, but now I can mark up and do things on top without deleting any, or moving anything below that. Additionally, if I go to the arrow up here and I go to version history. There are so many nice tools with this. So if I click down here, I see what it looked like at that iteration and I can three dots, rename, restore, duplicate, or copy the link to that version too. So that's really nice. A nice thing I can share with collaborators. I can also click this plus button to describe what changed, give an in-depth description of what changed from version to version. And let me show you a really nice feature that helps teachers if they didn't lock something and it was deleted. So I'll go to this Fig Jam right here and let's go to our version history. And I'll go to this, let's do this August 2 right here. And notice it's a different image right here. Let's say I wanna recover that image. I can right click on that click export selection. And then I have the choice to either do what I clicked on or the entire file as a PNG, JPEG, or PDF. So I'll just make that a PNG. I'll make the background transparent. I will do selection only and click export. Then when I click this, check it out. There it is that is the picture that was deleted. I have now recovered that. Before I go, I want to shout out my partner Figma and let you know that you can sign up for the Figma Chromebook beta at figma.com slash Chromebooks. Get verified for a free EDU account at figma.com slash education. And if you want to play with version history and locking and unlocking objects in Fig Jams, type figjam.new in your browser right now. If you have any questions about this, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.